Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney and welcome to my channel. You know, I got a friend that asked me a couple of weeks ago in regards to confidence. She dropped a comment in a video that I did and I said, sure, I'd love to do that. And so I thought this would be a great time to discuss confidence. I know it's been a hard year for a lot of people through health issues, finances, children, careers, what have you. And so we might be could use some confidence building. So I would like to do that today. You know, I know a lot of people that take their confidence issues by bullying other people. There are people that take and use other people for manipulation. Um, some people uh, just lack, lack confidence. Uh, some people, their confidence is contingent on someone else. Um, I know when I was... I think it was like first grade. I had a problem talking a lot. You don't believe that, do you? Uh, no, sure. <laughs> anyway, I have, I still have the, I still have the report card that was sent home to my mom from my teacher who says Deb talks too much. I got knees improvement and unsatisfactory all year long in that. So I got a good talking to, and so I worked on that. Then I guess it lasted maybe for that school year, and that was the end of that. But I think it was because I used talking as a part of building my confidence. And no matter what you use to build your confidence in, if it works for you, good. Continue using it. Go for it. I would like to, however, just throw out about three ideas that you can take a look at and see if it's something you would want to explore more into building your confidence up. One of them would be take the action. Just go do it. Whatever it is you want to do, just do it. Begin taking the action. Just kind of like I did with this, beginning this YouTube channel. I went and took the action to get a coach who has been on YouTube. I went and got some lady to help me with uploading my YouTube video, show me how that looked like, and tech issues. And I'll need, uh, I've got more coaching coming in the future in regards to that. So I took action. The second thing I would say is share with others what you know. You know, you can't help yourself until you help somebody else. I've got a friend of mine in Nashville who's got a song titled that. And it's true, though. It's good to build your confidence up by helping someone else with whatever issues that they have. That's a good thought. Uh, the third thing would be to get around people that are confident. They're always uh, confident. Connect with them. Uh, my husband was a great person who was a very confident man. Uh, I was glad for the time that I was with him. He helped me in gaining confidence. If there was something that he couldn't do or didn't know to do, he always went, took the necessary steps in the action to ask somebody, I need this done. Can you get this done for me? And they said, well, sure, not a problem. And so he did that. However, there were other things that he had he had to do himself that he needed the confidence to do, and he, he, he got it done. So there's a scenario I'd like to present to you. Let's just say you're at a football game, and one team's behind. And so it's halftime. Each team goes in the locker room. The team that's behind, the coach says, guys, come on. You know you can whoop this team. You know you can win this game. What is it? We've watched them. We've studied them. We, knew, we know their tactics. We know how they maneuver and so forth and so on. Let's go win this game. Guess what he's doing? They're hearing in their ears, they're processing it in their mind, and they're getting it down in their heart that, yeah, we can win this. We can do this. We're going to go do this, coach. We're going to go out here and win this ball game. And guess what? When they get back out on the field, they get a touchdown. All right. Guess what? Everybody's high-fiving each other, giving a thumbs up, patting each other on the back, saying, you go. Great. Awesome. Then, let's say they get another touchdown. 
Now they're ecstatic. They're jumping up and down. They're happy. Guess what? What happened? There was a shift. Everybody could see it when they got back on the field and they started getting touchdown. A shift had taken place. Yeah, they got their thinking up. So, that's what I would like to suggest that you do, is to kind of get your thinking up. You know, I don't think I can rise from a deeper, well, I don't think I am. Well, who told you that? So, something to ponder. Anyways, there'll be another video in regards to confidence. You can't do it in the, this short span of time, but this will give you something to think about in between now and then. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. You may have a great suggestion for confidence on how you build confidence. There's a, there's a, there's a lot more than these three that I've just uh, listed now. Uh, they, these are very simple to go out and do, but you just have to take the, the time to do it. And so leave me a comment. This is a community that where we are here to build up and encourage and inspire each other. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And hit the bell so you'll know the next video that's coming up in regards, video number two in regards to confidence. And leave a comment. I'm glad you found me. And I'm glad I found you. I hope you have a great day.